understand. So what is cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT? There are many options for psychotherapy, with different treatment approaches working best for different conditions. Cognitive behavioral therapy is a talking therapy that can help you manage several health problems of psychological nature by engaging in the way you think and behave. CBT will not remove your problems, but it can help you deal with them in a more positive way. The concept of CBT is that your thoughts, emotions, physical sensations and behavior are all interconnected. Negative thoughts cause negative feelings and that can lead to negative actions and in the end you'll be trapped in a vicious cycle. The problems are broken down into five categories. Situations, thoughts, emotions, physical feelings and actions. And then we show you how to change these negative patterns to improve your feelings and actions. Unlike some other talking treatments, CBT deals with your current problems and will not focus on your past. It looks for a practical way to improve your state of mind on a daily basis. CBT has been shown to be an effective way of treating a number of different mental health conditions, for example, depression, anxiety disorders, OCD, panic disorder, post-traumatic stress, phobias, eating disorders, sleep problems, uh, re problems related to alcohol misuse, and can be sometimes used to treat people with long-term health conditions such as chronic pain. So what happens during a CBT session? You will usually have a session with a therapist once a week or once every two weeks. The course of the treatment will take an average of 10 sessions, with each session lasting 30 to 60 minutes. During the sessions, you will work with your therapist to break down your problems into separate small parts, such as your thoughts, physical feelings and actions. You and your therapist will analyze these areas to work out if they are unrealistic or unhelpful and to determine the effect they have on each other and on you. So the eventual aim of the therapy is to teach you to apply the skills you have learned during the treatment to your daily life. This should help you manage your problems and stop them from uh, having a negative impact on your life, even after the course of the treatment. Common CBT uh, activities might include setting realistic goals and learning how to solve the problems, learning how to manage stress and anxiety, uh, identifying situations that are often avoided and gradually approaching feared situations, identifying and engaging in enjoyable activities like hobbies, identifying and challenging negative thoughts, learning to become aware of feelings and thoughts, CBT can be carried out in several different forms, including individual therapy, like one-to-one -one sessions with a therapist. There's also group therapy with others who wish to tackle a similar problem. There are also self-help books where you carry out exercises from the book. There's a computerized program known as computerized CBT. If you apply it correctly, CBT can change your life, so go for it. Best of luck. This video contains general information about medical conditions. The content might not be suitable for everyone and should not be treated as such. Always consult your doctor before using medications. The medical information is provided without any warranties or legal obligations to those who might apply them.